Greetings, my name is Piero and welcome back to the Neon Slice. It is no doubt that Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil Village are very similar. In this video I will be covering some of the similarities that they both share. Let's start from the beginning. Leon and Ethan both have to rescue a girl. They both find themselves in a village. They quickly find out that the villagers have turned into some kind of monsters and have to find shelter in a nearby house. I'm so The house rapidly becomes overrun by monsters, and they find themselves in the village having to survive until a scripted event occurs. In the case of Resident Evil 4, Leon has to fight enemies until the bell from the nearby church rings. In the case of Ethan's situation, he has to survive the lichen attack until he gets hit by an arrow. After that, they both find out that the girl they're looking for is being held somewhere else outside of the village. While both heroes are trying to make their way to that location, they both get trapped and are held capture. This is where Leon learns about the Big Cheese, also known as the Chief of the Village. This is where Ethan learns about the Four Lords and Mother Miranda. Both games feature a parasite-like creature that makes people turn into monsters. In Resident Evil 4, it is called Plaga, and in Village, it's called Kado. Both games feature a cult-like setting a group of followers that follow a cult leader. In the case of Resident Evil 4, it is Lord Sadler, and in the case of Resident Evil 8, it is Mother Miranda, of course. Both games feature a castle section. Leon's way to the castle is much longer than Ethan's. Before Leon gets to the castle, he meets the merchant and ends up fighting two bosses. Speaking of the merchant, here are the similarities between the Duke and the RA4 merchant. In the case of Resident Evil 4, you'll see some blue lights when the merchant is nearby. In Resident Evil Village, you'll see this little lamp outside of the merchant's room. Both the merchant and Duke help Leon and Ethan for no apparent reason, and also they appear to be neutral. Both of these characters seem to teleport from location to location. Both games have a similar currency system. You acquire set currency by eliminating enemies, collecting gems, and combining treasures. Some which can only be completed after reaching a specific point in the game. Before Leon gets to the castle, he fights the Lago, a giant lizard water creature, much similar to Moreau. The boss fights themselves are very different, but the entire setting is just very similar to Moreau's reservoir. Around these areas, Leon uses a boat to move from place to place, much like Ethan does in Ari Village. Both games feature a castle section. Leon's experience in the castle is much longer than Ethan's. These sections have very minor similarities, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. So here are some random facts. Both castle areas have dungeons. Both games feature a wine-based puzzle in the castle. In both games, you find yourself having to backtrack to the village a couple of times, they're always at different times of the day. In the case of Ethan, he returns to the village a number of times, whereas Leon returns, or can return, up to three times to the village. Perhaps even more. This is also another similarity to let the player know that the village is a, some sort of central hub, much like a Firelink Shrine from Dark Souls. Both games feature an industrial area, in the case of Resident Evil 4, it is called the island, in the case of Resident Evil 8, it is Heisenberg's factory. The Sturm enemy, also known as the Fanhead guy, is very similar to the Garador enemy in Resident Evil 4. They both share similarities, they don't have a head or they can't see, and they their movesets are pretty much the same. You can only kill them from the back. Lastly, Mother Miranda and Sattler, who happen to be the final bosses, share similarities not only in looks but also in movesets. Mother Miranda's uh, arena is much more smaller but her attacks are more wild and more vast. Sattler's arena is rather large but his attacks consist of about 3 or 4 moves, correct me if I'm wrong. 
that's most of the things I was able to cover in this video. Let me know if I've missed anything in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and like if you want more Resident Evil content. And things like that. See you next time.